Hello everyone, David here with Monofit Trading Systems and I wanted to have a little change of setting here. I'm at a baseball field, kind of school grounds, waiting to pick up my daughter. And uh, I wanted to kind of share some things and maybe bring some things to light regarding how we, um, how we limit ourselves. So uh, after class today, after I went to my Jiu Jitsu class at Paragon in Ventura, I um, I was gonna work out uh, at my gym, but I had hurt myself earlier in the day uh, demoing something. I was kind of cold demoing, and as a result, had a little bit of a problem with my mobility of my left arm. So I skipped the workout because I didn't want to make things worse, and I was either gonna be doing some upper body stuff or some barbell squats, and I just didn't want to tweak anything. So. What I did was, I went home, I'm like, what am I gonna do? So I did some sit-ups, did some abs, and then I stretched. And I thought to myself, man, I should be stretching after not only every uh, workout at Jiu Jitsu, but I also sh I probably should stretch every day anyway. Because one of the things I say all the time is, man, I wish I was more flexible, or yeah, it's hard for me to get in that position. I'm not flexible. Um, now, of course, I just said it. I'm guilty of setting limits. So, you know, I, I, I'm not good at you know, escaping out from uh, to my right. I'm not good at defending from this side. I'm not good at, uh, you know, if, if given a left side of an opponent to do a submission or to uh, escape from, I have a favorite side and I really suck at the other one. Now think about all the other things in life that we are not good at and we keep saying I'm not good at that and then you really don't, you just say it to say it or you think it, but you don't do anything about it. So I'm not good at cardio. Okay, so you're not good at cardio. Now some people don't like running. I like to run, I'm kind of weird that way. Um, but uh, you could walk, you could swim, and if you have not ever swam, swum, swim, swam, have swum, if you've never swum, swam before, um, that shit's gonna get your cardio up. Um, if you don't like running, then find a gym that has rowing machines or aerodyne bikes or something like that and, and do something there. Um, grab a jump rope. Now, if you are too overweight, to really go crazy or go real aggressive on your on your cardio then start by walking and if you've seen any of my videos i always talk about this start at the beginning start with going for a walk for 20 minutes 30 minutes walk in one direction for 10 or 15 turn around and come back do that every other day or every day but for those of you who are out there that might be smokers, doesn't count if you're fucking smoking. I see people around the gym going on these walks with a cigarette in their hand and they are walking for fitness, but they're smoking. It's insane. So also don't follow up a walk, especially if you're severely overweight and I, I'm not gonna probably make many friends here, but if you're very overweight and you go for a walk, that doesn't mean that you can go back and eat like crap afterwards what it means is you need to reward yourself go drink some water and uh, no, okay so this brings me to something else Gatorade Powerade Powerade and Gatorade are created for athletes that are gonna be playing for, for hours and hours you know they're gonna be playing football basketball baseball they're gonna be playing for a long time uh, it's not for a workout post workout after an hour it might be if you're a wrestler or jiu-jitsu practitioner and you keep winning at a tournament and so you're going to keep having to go back and and compete again maybe it's for you but otherwise if you go for a three mile run come back drink some water you don't need to be drinking gatorade or powerade especially if you are trying to lose about 10 vanity pounds you don't need this sugar from gatorade you just need to drink some water so i'm not good at cardio i suck at cardio i'm not flexible uh, I suck at doing an attack from this side or that side. 
you know, I, uh, I haven't talked to my friends in a long time. All I do is text. I never call. All those things. Change them. Just change them. Do one thing differently tomorrow. Don't put any salt on your food. Try that. My blood pressure is high. I can't, you know, it's hard to lower my blood pressure, but you're always eating fast food. My blood pressure is high or my cholesterol is high, but you're always eating fried food. Okay? Nobody's born knowing everything and nobody's raised in the same manner. A traditional meal that you might have could be very bad for you and you don't know it. You know, you're because maybe you're just not that, uh, you know, versed in nutrition. Start looking online, start, start typing in, you know, healthy alternatives to Mexican food, healthy alternatives to barbecue, healthy alternatives to potato salad or all those delicious things. But change something. Stop saying, I'm not good at this. I'm not good at that. Oh, I wish I was more flexible. I wish this. I wish that. I wish I could save money. Stop going out to eat. I wish I could save money. Stop going to the bar. Go buy some beer and sit down and drink it at your house. Invite some friends over. Everybody brings something. Everybody brings some healthy food. You can still have fun. We all need our cheat day. We all need our, our uh, escape in a way. And if you need an escape, you know, Saturday. But don't say, well, Friday, it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And now I'm going to start with my cheating. And then I'm going to go eat like crap on Friday and then Saturday. And then, well, you blew it on Saturday too. So why not just blow it on Sunday? No, start changing. Little tiny steps every single day. Do something slightly different. It'll pay off. It'll pay off in the long run. And if you do, if you change your behavior one day at a time, before you know it, it turns into a week. It turns into a month. It turns into three months. And then before you know it, six months down the road, things are starting to look different, feel different. But more importantly, your perspective is changing. And when you can switch your mind and you can switch the way you think and how you feel, not only about the world around you, but about yourself, you're going to always come out ahead. So make those changes. Start making little tiny changes. Daily.